Hey Cameron, this is a Zoom Zoom machine. As you might know, it uses boom juice to make you go zoom. If you go over here to the hood and you put your fingers just right to make it just the right amount of hat, the hood will pop up. And then you can see this is the boom box. The boom box is inside the Zoom Zoom machine and the boom box uses boom juice so that it can go zoom, making a boom. This is where you put in the boom juice that ultimately goes in to the boom box. This is known as a gas station or a filling station. And this is where you get the boom juice. The boom juice comes out of this pump and goes into the zoom zoom machine. As you may know, the boom juice, it's flammable. This is one of the reasons you're not supposed to smoke at the gas slash filling station. Per FEMA, if your zoom zoom machine is to catch fire, this is what you should do. Number one, you should pull over as quickly as you can when it's safe. Once it is stopped, turn off the boom box. Engine. Number three, get everybody out of the zoom zoom machine. Don't go back to it. Don't try to fight the fire yourself. You're not a fireman. Unless you are a fireman, in which case you probably also shouldn't because you're probably not wearing your fireman gear while you're in your zoom zoom, let the on-duty fireman come to put out the zoom zoom machine. If you think that there's a fire under the hood, don't open it. It could make the fire bigger. Move at least 100 feet away from the zoom zoom machine. I took this video to demonstrate what 100 feet looks like. There's my zoom zoom machine. Last call 911. Why do I lay all this out? Well, in your last video, you came across somebody who had a Zoom Zoom machine on fire and they took it to the gas slash filling station. I'm very glad that you are safe. I'm very glad that there wasn't big boom while you were driving by. However, to your point, parking a flaming car at the gas station, probably not a, but not a good idea. Like FEMA said to pull over as quickly as you can when it's safe. And I just, I don't feel like the gas station, the place where the boom juice is, is the safest place. Here's some safer places that you could potentially pull over. You could pull over on a side street. You could pull over in an empty parking lot as long as you're far enough away from buildings and people. Or you could pull your car over on the side of the road. There's actually gonna be a preferred thing. Just make sure it's not like right next to like, if you if you pull up to like a restaurant where there's like people eating outside on a pat, don't, don't pull over there. That's a dick move. And when possible, Try not to be a dick. But in an area like this, where you can see there's not a bunch of people standing around, a good place to pull over. All of these are better options than taking your on fire zoom zoom machine to a gas station where the boom juice stays. For the record, it was very difficult to refer to a car as a zoom zoom machine and the gas as boom juice. I, I had to do a few takes. Anyway, speaking of fire, you play with fire a little bit when it comes to uploading your videos and sometimes upload them a little late in the day. I get nervous for this, for you, because as you know, if you miss an upload, get punished. And I don't want you to be like uploading a video at like 11.50 and it takes 12 minutes for it to upload and it doesn't upload until the next day. That would be a bummer. Now, yesterday, you uploaded a video at 11.15. Great, you fulfilled your obligations. However, at some point, that video was deleted and a new video was uploaded in its place. Now, the new video was essentially the same thing as the old video, it just had some parts cut out of it. The issue is that the new video was uploaded after midnight. So technically, the new video is uploaded today. This appears to be a loophole in our rules that I did not account for because you technically fulfilled your obligations by uploading the video. However, the video that we have was not uploaded in time. I'm not gonna dole out a punishment for that because technically you didn't break the rules. With that said, I did discover that you can edit a video like after you've posted it, like you can cut some parts out. Let me show you. This is a little peek under the covers for anybody that doesn't upload videos into YouTube. Um, we've got an editor over here. We're gonna click on get started. And then let's say I wanna trim and cut. So I wanna cut, and I wanna cut, I don't know, this part of my video. So I can do that, I can say check. When I go to play the video, right, it's gonna skip over those cut parts, and then you can save it. Now there are some restrictions that YouTube puts on that, like if a video has more than 100,000 views, if you're part of like the YouTube Partner Program, stuff like that, those, those functions might be limited to be able to actually cut. Now I do wish that they had the option to be able to like add in like, a text box or a notification or something like that because I think that would be really useful especially when you do videos that you might have like an update for or something like that later. That would be a nice feature for them to add. Anyway, I know the loophole works in your favor this time. I do think that we should close it going forward. Let me know if you disagree with that. Hopefully the uh, the trim and cut is able to resolve that issue for you if you have it again in the future. But other than that, here's a lion figurine and I'll see you on Monday.